Hello everybody, this is JD again. I'm a little tired right now, I'm having trouble sleeping. Because this something that's really I've talked to people about this before. There are people out there who are talking about secession. Government overthrow. Now I understand some people now have got this thing about Obama massing troops to the northern part of this country, getting them out of Europe and stuff, so that he can use them against the people in this country. That's... you don't understand the American military. They don't blindly follow orders for first thing. Second thing is, we swore an oath never to be used against the American citizen inside the United States and its territories. Our military cannot. National Guard can, yes, but not the active military. No Army, no Navy, no Air Force can actually be used against the people inside this country. Only National Guard. That's why you always see whenever they had in the late 60s this demonstrations they use the National Guard. The military cannot be used. The military will not be used. But the part that disturbs me is none of you are willing to let the Constitution do its job. I will agree 110 percent with every one of you that our Congress right now is out of hand. I will agree with you that our Congress does not listen to the people. <clears throat> they want to do something. They're so headstrong on what they want to do. They feel that, oh, the end results justify the means. And that's the way they're acting. They do not realize that other people in other nations, when their government did that, created terrible things. For example, Hitler and Germany. Those people in that nation, their government believed the end result justified the means. The Soviet Union, they believed the end results justified the means. Iraq government, the government, present government in Iran, they truly believe the end results justified the means. <clears throat> and right now, our own Congress is acting the very same way. Now, I say to you who want to pick up guns and want to march on the Washington, no, hold back. Give our Constitution a chance. But remember, we did this. <clears throat> How many of you believed the lies that the Democrat Party fed you? How many of you believed that the only choices you had in the last election was either McCain or Obama? I know 8,700,000 who didn't, and they wrote my name in. They were discarded because my vice president never registered with the Federal Election Commission and three weeks before the election said she's not running <clears throat> disqualified me all my write-ins there is the proper way we can do it you all out there complaining wanting to revolt the vote is how to do it if you strongly believe that much, <clears throat> then get out there and run for Congress. Run for the Senate. Because when I become president, I will need individuals who believe in this country, who believe in our Constitution, and will make it work. Our government, yes, has become what our forefathers dared not say. Our government has become what we actually 
fought against time and time again. Our government has become the ends justifies the means. And that is not the answer. But taking up guns against it is not the answer. I'll be honest with you. I will do it using the Constitution long before I will go to war against my own country. But if my country becomes illegal as a last resort, what did I say about war? Remember, war is hell, and in peacetime, it is murder. We don't need that. We don't need to have a civil war in this nation. We don't need a bunch of people trying to overthrow only to have the same thing happen over and over again. We need to fix it. We need to remember how we got here. Those of you who voted because you were Democrat and voted because you were Republican because you were too lazy and you had other people decide for you well that's what you got now other people who want to decide on how you will live those of you who complained and never voted well what did you get a government that will not listen to you now understand for those who never voted I need for you to vote register those of you who said I am Democrat I am Republican drop it realize first and foremost you are American and your vote is a precious precious right not a privilege a right that is guaranteed you in the Constitution and anyone who says it's not a right, I will show you where it is written as a right. It is written in the Constitution as the right to vote in one of the amendments. So bottom line, we must unite, yes. We must band together, yes. We must understand our Constitution is our tool. Our Constitution can, with us, fix all these problems. Don't worry about what they're saying right now. They cannot pass any law or any bill that cannot be undone. They could only bring down their own demise via the Constitution. So understand what these people in the Congress are saying are not true. Read the Constitution and understand it that you are the strength of the Constitution. You are the heart of the Constitution. You are this American nation and together we will and can put the Constitution back in our government I can't do it alone and please listen to me listen to what I say check out my other videos give the Constitution a chance to really work you have done a lot of ignoring of it. Now it needs you to use it. This is JD. Have a nice day. And think about what I said. Listen.